Once upon heaps of ages ago in legendary Polynesia, there lived an eel and a flounder and their friendship was super famous. In fact, it was down to their friendship that the islands of Tuvalu were created. Hashtag true story. Now back in the days of legendary Polynesia, the eel and the flounder looked nothing like they do today. The eel was actually short and stumpy, thanks to his love of burgers, and the flounder resembled a pufferfish, a plus-sized pufferfish. And I embrace my curves, yo. Yes, flounder, work it, work it, own it. Their friendship was legendary. You my BFF. Besties for life, yo. And they always wanted the other to win. I thought I was gonna beat you that time, but you were just too fast. If you didn't give me a head start, you would have wasted me in that race for sure. It was obvious they had a deep respect for each other. But as with all friendships, they hit a bit of a speed bump along the way. Uh, what's the rush, dude? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that some of us have got a lot of things to do today. Like what? Annoy people? Am I too slow for you? Did I say anything about being too slow? And just like that, cracks were beginning to form in their friendship. Bruh, even snails eat faster than you. Not everything has to be a competition, you know. Oh, here we go. There's never been competition. You've only ever won because I let you. <gasps> oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. And unfortunately, the eel and the flounder's friendship started to go down the I'm better than you track. That's it. You don't think I'm competition? I'll teach you, you slippery, slimy snake. Meet me in one hour at Stone's Throw. Stone's Throw! They're going to Stone's Throw! No one goes to Stone's Throw. News spread quickly throughout legendary Polynesia, and so excited were the villagers, they built a stadium in minutes. We want a clean match. The fish who hold the giant stone the longest is the winner. Take your places. On the count of three, Tasi, Lua, Toru, lift! Suddenly, the eel began to shake. OMG, 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 OMG! Try to keep holding on to it! It is... And then the flounder began to shake. Okay, drop it! Drop it! No, no way! No way! Keep holding it! Uh-oh. The flounder was crushed completely flat beneath the stone, but miraculously she wriggled free and punched the eel so hard that the eel became long and thin. Oh, great. Here come the snake jokes. But still holding his end of the stone, the eel was declared the winner. Okay, okay, everybody go home. The python wins. But the eel didn't feel as awesome as he thought he would when he won. So he threw the stone in the air and sang some magical words. As he threw the stone, the eel magically created the blue sky and the sea. The eel then broke the stone into eight pieces and as they fell, they magically transformed to create the main islands of Tuvalu. The name Tuvalu actually means eight standing together. Cool, eh? And inspired by his friend, the flounder's newly flat body became the model for the atolls of Tuvalu. So there you have it, guys. You now know how Tuvalu got its name and the story of the eel and the flounder's friendship. So if you have a special friendship, look after it and whatever you do, don't ever compete in a giant stone lifting competition.